All right, guys, this reviews more back from the quick review on a tech item. This is a solution for someone who is looking for a way to, um, in my case, use their standard uh, camcorder or digital SLR as their webcam. There's other options, cam links available. However, same brand, Elgato is the brand. This is the HD60S. Basically, it's meant to it's meant for streaming and like bringing in footage from gaming, but it's also used as a pass through for a camera, so you can just use a standard camera with better resolution instead of a cheap nasty webcam. It's also pertinent because right now with COVID and working from home, everybody and their brother is buying webcams, which is causing the price to be gouged heavily. And if you want to see my shtick on that, you'll see in just a moment. If you want to skip ahead to the install of this of this particular item and how it actually looks and works with a camcorder and a digital SLR side by side, go to about four minutes and 20 seconds and that's where it will be. If you continue with the video, kind of hear my shtick on why they're gouging and evidence of the gouging happening and why you shouldn't pay $150 for a Logitech webcam and that's coming up. But again, skip to four minutes, 22 seconds and you'll see the rest of the explanation of how this product works and all the goodies and the picture quality. Okay guys, so this right here is the actual listing that I purchased about a year ago and as you can see it's currently unavailable. But what we can do is go to camelcamelcamel.com which lets us search any Amazon listing and its price history as long as it's recorded in their database. And we can see here that there's been some ups and downs and the last time it was, the first time it was listed was 2012. So we're talking about an eight year old technology at this point. So that's not obsolete, but it's definitely aging out there. And it priced out about hundred bucks originally, dropped down to 80, you know, sales happen. And then towards recent times, it tops up at 64. So now you're saying, well, what about this price saying is triple over normal, you said you paid 50 and it's averaging about that now. This is an old listing and there is an, this is the Amazon price on it. It is now, obviously, as you can see here, defunct. It doesn't exist anymore. That listing is now gone, sold by Logitech. So that's no longer there. So let's go into the one year view so we can see what's happened in the last 365 days. We haven't obviously gotten to it. Back in March, they decided to stop carrying it. The listings ended in March. Well, shock of shocks, that's also right when you started seeing major gouging on prices. And one way that companies kind of avoid seeing prices being gouged, like showing off how well they gouge price and take advantage of bad markets, is to make a new listing so it can't be tracked by Camel, Camel, Camel. So here we have an updated listing. This is again from Logitech. The price is $150. And guess what? They have it in stock. Shock. But that's what they've done. They've basically, they're gouging. They're gouging by doing it in a way that allows them to get away with it because you can't track it. But we can go to Camel 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 with this listing and take a quick comparison look of it. And you'll see that this thing's only relisted as of May. And it's only through third-party sellers that there's, that there's any data for it. So third-party new. So that's what's happened. So one of two things is going on here. You have a bunch of resellers, which would be which would make sense if they use that same original listing that you see here and just where you just saw it being sold as new. But it's not even available even from third party sellers. So a whole new listing has been made for this particular item, and that's right here, at the much inflated rate. So that's why you don't want to bother buying this webcam. You want to find some other option. And most people these days have some kind of camera like they might have a point and shoot that they stopped using that has H mini HDMI connectors or more likely of a camcorder like a Sony Handycam or a Canon Vixia or the uh, equivalent JVC. They, they're out there and they're not nearly, they're about 200 bucks new for a higher quality camera that'll put out a better picture. So you have that option as well as going with a digital SLR if you want to pay the extra for the um, DC adapter or if you just want to go and say, hey, you know what, my meetings are never more than an hour. I can just plug it up and charge it back again each time. So the rest of the video is going to be two demonstrations with me using a Vixia HF R800 from Canon as well as a Canon uh, Rebel SL3, which is their like, not base model, but close to base model camera for, you know, content creation, taking pictures, 4K videos available, but 1080p at 60 frames per second. All right, so here it is plugged in. You take the HDMI on this side on the left hand side there you plug it in and then you plug that HDMI cable into a mini HDMI port you can either have an HDMI to mini HDMI or a dongle that lets you attach it the USB type C then connects to the back of your computer so there's the camera you're gonna see the Canon HF Arc uh, Vixia 
right there. It just connects straight into the side. And the USB Type-C connects into a USB 3.0 port on the back of your computer. There's my computer. There's kind of the back of it. And that's where its little input is. You don't need the other half unless you're streaming game footage. So don't worry about that if you're using it for camera purposes. All right, guys. So this is the... Um, Elgato HD60S hooked up to a Canon Vixia R800, and we are not using the we're not using the integrated mic. We're using a little Amazon Basics mic right here. You probably hear it make some noise as I move it, but this is what you can kind of expect as far as video quality. From this is a 1080p, 60 frames per second, little handy cam. So like the Sony handy cam, Canon. Vixia series, they're all in that same price range, all the same value. You'll note, and in this room, uh, we got a fairly large room with a center ceiling fan light, four bulbs. They're all 60 watt equivalent soft light bulbs. So, this is the standard lighting in any given house. So, if you don't want to buy like a ring light or some other extra studio lighting, this is what you can kind of expect from any given camera of this price point and quality. It's a $200 camera all day long. The advantage this camera has is most. Um, Sony Handy Cams, the JVC Cams, all uh, can this Canon Vixia, they all come with a DC outlet. So basically, they have the ability to power themselves. Whereas if you go with a digital SLR, most of those do not come with any separate power source outside of the battery. So you're limited to the battery life, or you have to buy a more expensive AC/DC adapter. And I price those for my Canon, which I'll show you in just a moment how the quality changes at like the $150 mark once you get the little battery adapter plus the actual DC power source. It's pretty expensive and when you spend a good bit of money on cameras you don't want to put like Chinese knockoff crap into them because you never know what might happen to your camera after about an hour of use. It might burn out, might like you know I've had, I've had wires burn out, computers on off-market chargers so you don't you just don't want to do that. So that, that's the advantage that this, that this uh, situation has so you can get away with just using like your family's camera for a little while if, unless you want to upgrade to a digital SLR kind of situation. So that's what you get from this particular quality camera and this is using the Elgato uh, internal software. This will hook up to Zoom so like or, like as long as you install the Elgato software and basically teaches your computer how to recognize the Elgato um, capture card and you'll be good to go. So there's not much else to that. Um, your next thing you're going to see is a example of the same exact setup but with a digital SLR camera with some higher quality optics and better low light resolution so you'll see a pretty big difference. Alright guys so this is the exact same situation same lighting same everything the only thing that's changed is now there is a Canon Rebel uh, SL3 which is a uh, entry level digital SLR camera from Canon and we have it set up. Remember um, one strange thing you have to look up how to get a clean HDMI out of any given camera including the one you saw previously the little handy cam or sorry the Vixia from Canon you gotta set it to where it won't show all the little buttons and things that show up on the side of a camera uh, when you're using it like that so make sure you just look up how to do it in the settings or watch a YouTube tutorial on it they're all a little bit different in how they do it so this is the results you get again this is not the integrated audio this is from again once again the Amazon Basics condenser microphone right there. Uh, nothing really crazy about the setup. It's the exact same. Again, it's a fairly large room with a center light that's over there that is about six, there's a four bulb, 60 watt equivalent, soft whites. This is not using any kind of studio lighting. This is just standard lighting and it's a pretty substantial difference but again it's also a pretty substantially different camera. So the uh, the main flaw with this is you will typically not have an inter or a, uh, a power source option that comes with the camera outside of its battery so you're limited in battery life so if you keep this thing running it will run down the battery typically they um this one recording time it says you get about an hour and a half so if you're in a situation where you only have to worry about doing this for an hour and a half for a, for a meeting once a day you're probably good to go if you're in a situation where you're doing stuff like zoom meetings and teaching and trying to do stuff online like that you're probably going to want to go with a different powered solution because you're going to be kind of stuck with it um, the only thing you'll you don't really even need anything the only thing you're going to need is a uh, it's probably going to be an HDMI um, mini adapter and that just is what they put into the cameras so you have to buy that separate I, I bought one from Amazon basics for under 10 bucks they're not super expensive so the whole solution all in all without the cost of the cameras because I assume you already have them, about 200 bucks which sounds high compared to like paying 120 for a webcam that's currently priced out of oblivion on Amazon but you get more a lot more utility this in particular the HD60S compared to like the cam link from the same company which is also being gouged like crazy and I probably showed you a section of that on some websites earlier in the video 
uh, you're going to get a lot more utility. You get the ability to stream games and stuff. You can show videos in different ways. It's got more utility to it, more versatility, and it's higher quality. So you're going to get some. You get 60 frames per second at 1080p, so it just looks nicer. Uh, it's also a good solution if you're doing stuff for, let's say, you're teaching or you got to do presentations and you just want to record it ahead of time and just upload it so they can see it. You get you just get better quality, and you can fiddle around with it a little better. You might have use for things like a green screen if you're doing a lot of AV work with kids and students or if you do that in your profession and you're working remote from home, you have that option as well. So this is just a better option, in my opinion, because you get a lot more utility for the price point. And again, some of those webcams right now from like Logitech, they're pushing the 150, 160 mark because they're being gouged so heavily because of the pandemic. And people, they know everyone's working remote from home and they know that the webcams that come integrated on laptops are just hot garbage. So they know they can charge really high prices for business professionals, teachers who are basically in a bind. So this is just another solution to get around that. Not the price, because you're paying about 200 bucks all in all, but you're going to get a lot more bang for your buck compared to just getting a webcam that was 50 bucks a year ago for 150 bucks now. So I hope the video was helpful and you're going to see a side-by-side -side comparison of the SLR camera you're looking at right now compared to the Vixia camera you just saw a few minutes ago. So it'll be side-by-side -side and you can kind of see what's going on and the big differences without any actual change in the setup except for the camera being switched out. Thank you.